What is going on YouTube? My name is Justin, also known as GamingSpiderYT here on YouTube.com, back again with another video. And it's that time again, I have reached level 50 of third generation. Again guys, sorry for the humming in the background, the issue will be resolved soon. Sorry right here for the audio error, it just kind of bugged up, so yeah, here's the video. Tomorrow, by the time of me recording this video, which is the 24th, which this video will probably go up later than that, we're going to be starting a series with my clan uh, to see how many games we can win without dying, so I'm really pumped up for that. But first, I need to show you guys my Gen 3 stats before I regenerate. I'm still not done with all the challenges, actually. I still have to do these uh, railgun challenges and the satchel charge one. Um, but that's not important right now. What we're pretty much going to go through is how hard were the regeneration requirements for this generation and what I basically used for this generation and things like that. So, let's go ahead and get into it. My pilot loadouts, the number one most used loadout for me so far was the R97 Compact SMG as it was a requirement for you to get past this generation. This, uh, I did get finished with these challenges. I unlocked the HCOG site, so I put that on there, and I had Cloak with Satchel Charge, uh, Explosives Pack, and the Warp Fall Transmitter with a Sidewinder, and the B3 Wingman, which I never used. Uh, yeah, this gun isn't really too bad. It's kind of like the Scorpion within this game. It has a really high fire rate uh, compared to the other SMG in this game, the Car SMG, which is a mid-range SMG, compared to, this is a, it says a semiotic. oh wait, no, yeah, Close Encounters uh, submachine gun. Uh, it's not really that hard to use at all. I found it pretty enjoyable to use. It's probably the easiest region requirement I have had to do so far. Uh, now, other than that, I've used the R101C Carbine with the Hollow Sight, the Suppressor, and this is pretty much this the class that I use almost all the time when I'm playing, and I don't have to use uh, any requirements. So this has been the class I've had to use for the Plasma Railgun. This thing is just absolutely terrible to use. I would not recommend this gun at all. I've just had so much trouble with getting just kills in general with it. It's just so hard. But anyways, I put it on Insta Shot. It makes it automatically charge up, so it makes it easier to kill things with, and you don't have to wait to charge it. And then I've got the particle wall, the cluster missile, nuclear ejection, big punch, and of course I'm using the Ogre Titan for this primarily. Sometimes I switch it up with the Atlas and change the quad rocket. And then the class that I use when I'm not uh, forced to use the plasma railgun is the strider with uh, dash core of course the quad rocket with rapid fire the particle wall rocket salvo uh, should actually change that that's supposed to be cluster missile uh, dash quick charger and survivor so yeah that's this class with my r101c class is definitely my favorite preferred loadout for everything uh, burn cards as you can see I just got all these for um, hitting level 50 so that's really good let's go into our personal stats and look at our kills overview it's pretty much the same as last time it changed a little bit I played a lot more attrition lately and I'm starting to get into last Titan standing that 1% right there <laughs> but I've, I've actually played it a lot recently it still says 1% but that will get up soon and uh, all this stuff at the bottom hasn't really changed too much uh, pilot weapons obviously this hasn't changed at all this has been played for 2 hours and 13 minutes, that's how long it used, I used it for to get the regen requirement. And then uh, the millimeter cannon is still my number one used weapon from last generation. And then the plasma railgun I've used for 2 hours and 2 minutes. That will probably go past the chain gun when I'm all done. Uh, the triple threat's going to be just a pain in the butt to use, I just cannot wait for that. But yeah guys, that's pretty much all I have to do today, uh, show you guys my stats. If you guys haven't seen my previous video of the leaked pictures of War Games, the next DLC map, that link will be in the description down below. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel and you did enjoy this type of thing. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I had to do today. And until next time, guys, my name is Justin, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace off, guys.